The Supreme Court's decision to grant immunity to President Trump has been hailed as a significant triumph for him, with far-reaching implications for the rule of law, the balance of power, and the future of leadership. Of the justices in politics. Um, let me go to you, Jonathan Turley, for a reaction to this decision so far. Well, this is along the lines of what many of us anticipated, that the court uh, did not go with absolute immunity on everything, but did say that there's absolute immunity when it comes to core constitutional powers. Uh, we're still going through the opinion to see if there's any assistance on where that line is to be drawn. Uh, this case is going to have to go back to the district court, which is going to have to try to uh, sort of thread this needle to determine what in the case uh, would not fall under these protections. But this is obviously a win for uh, President Trump in the sense that the special counsel was arguing, as with the lower court, uh, that there was very little immunity here to be concerned with. The, the counsel for the government was assuring the court that they really didn't have much to be concerned with here in terms of any changes in the status of the case. That's clearly not what won the day. The court here is saying that we do need lines here drawn. Uh, to protect presidents so they have some breathing room. And you have to sort of wonder how the context affected the uh, justices. I mean, if they want to look at the implications of leaving presidents without protection, uh, they just need to look around the country. Uh, even though Manhattan was not a uh, federal case, it was a political prosecution in the view of many of us that was rather raw and open. And so this is a, a context that must have concentrated the minds of these justices as they did what Justice Gorsuch said and tried to write for the ages to have something not for this case, but for future cases and future presidents. Trey Gowdy, how does this, do we think, as we're still going through this, impact Jack Smith's This ruling underscores the importance of shielding the presidency from political prosecution, allowing the president to execute his duties without the constant threat of legal challenges. By safeguarding the administrative powers, the Supreme Court aims to ensure a stable and effective government. The decision also raises crucial considerations about individual responsibility, ethical governance, and the long-term impact of judicial rulings. The Supreme Court's intention seems to be establishing clear boundaries that protect the presidency's integrity while acknowledging the need for accountability. This approach is seen as essential for responsible and forward-thinking governance. The ruling's impact on public perception and political stability is notable as it bolsters trust in the judicial system by demonstrating a commitment to justice and administrative authority. Public reactions to this decision and its influence on the political landscape are significant. Different political groups will interpret this ruling through their lenses, with some seeing it as a necessary protection for the presidency and others viewing it as shielding the president from accountability. This divergence highlights the ongoing debate about the balance of power in democratic governance and the role of government agencies. The judiciary's role in maintaining this balance and upholding constitutional principles is crucial. The Supreme Court's ruling reflects the importance of judicial independence and the need to protect the presidency from politically motivated legal actions. By doing so, it helps preserve the integrity of judicial proceedings and reinforces the principles of checks and balances within the government.